CEO, Allison David, super capable superhero, is in the building on the plaza. They're here to talk about everything that, that she and her group and her team is doing in Claymont, from the 5K to the community closet. Allison, welcome. Thank you. And this is not your first time. It's not. You had me on last, last year. Last year, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we love it. Long Thank as, you. And I did say, you got something going on, let us know. And bam, here we Absolutely. go. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I'm thrilled to, uh, you know, talk about our 5K, our C3 5K, which is coming up on this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, September 30th. But I think, you know, what's really important is that people get a sense of what the Claymont Center is. Right, right. And the Claymont Center has been an anchor in the community for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And in fact, our building was originally the Claymont High School. And wow. it has yeah. significance because two years before before Brown versus the Board of Education, it integrated. Mm -hmm. So that legacy of integration is so important to the community and <sighs> guides us in all of the work that we do now. Yeah. The Claymont Center is a place for families, youth, seniors, and we want it to be you know, a place that everyone feels welcome, right. that it's warm, that the services and the programs we have are for everyone. Yeah. So that really guides us in the work that we do. Nice. I was always wondering why I was a track in the back of there. I didn't right. know. I didn't know. Yeah, it was, it was I didn't a know high was, school. I didn't know it was that's, high school. That's yeah. great history to have. Yeah. Yeah. So, and in fact, um, in 2022, we were recognized as an affiliate mm -hmm. of the National Park Service as part of the Brown v. Board Historical wow. Park. That's so, nice. and that was by yeah. Senator Coons, right? Um, yeah, it, the, it was the legislation was um, proposed by Senator Coons and Representative Clyburn, mm -hmm. and then um, it passed, and then, and and then Biden. The, Biden signed it. Yeah. yeah. And I was um, really honored to take one of the original students oh. to the White House Get out. for that, that event. That yeah. And we were in the Oval Office, and it was Did like. Did you take anything with you? Any souvenirs? I, no? I didn't. You <laughs> know Tell me what? After the camera's no, off. they don't even let you bring your phone in. Yeah. You know? No, you can't yeah. do anything. And I had my Apple Watch on like, right that. before we went in. And they're like, is that an Apple Watch? And I would like ripped it off and, yeah. you know, like, take give it. Give me that. Yeah. You know, I want to get in there. Moment. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, it was so amazing. That's and speaking amazing and all the amazing things that you're doing at the Claymont Center. Let's talk about, because you said it's open for everyone. Sure. Let's talk about sure. this Saturday and the 5K. Sure. And what you guys have going on. Sure. So Saturday is our fifth annual C3 5K. Mm -hmm. And the 5K really supports... Uh, the programs that we run. Mm -hmm. So we have four signature programs. We have our Brandywine Senior Center. We have a learning center that helps people work on their GED. We're also um, teaching English to um, learners of, of English. Um, we have a food closet and we also have a youth program. And in addition to that, we have 18 partners that operate in our building. Nice. So we have um, Head Start, uh, private daycare, we have five mental health providers, we have mm -hmm. a state service center. So it's this comprehensive you know, place where again, people can come for lots of different things. You mentioned the track, so we have a track, we have a football field, two baseball diamonds, and a dog park, wow. which is a mouthful, but a you know, that's, that's, a, that's, a, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a complex. That's a complex. <laughs> community <laughs> complex. <laughs> it is, it is. Nice. But, 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 but that's what communities are, yes, right? right? And this one is in the center of the community. Yeah. So the 5K is a great way for us to sort of showcase what we do, right. um, have fun, you know, I think what we've all known as we come out of the pandemic is that people were really isolated. Yeah. People are struggling. And this is an opportunity for the community to come together mm -hmm. and just do something fun, right. you know, and do something healthy. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times people don't want to walk or they don't want to run, but they'll come out and they'll cheer yeah. um, and they'll become part of the community. So that's, that's yeah. really what we're about. Not Love to it. mention if they see other people doing it. They're going to do something. They're yeah, going to jump in. They might get even. something yeah, get in there. there and yeah, walk, so. yeah. And we have a 5K option, and we also have a one-mile loop. Okay. So if you don't want to yeah. do five, you know, the 3.1 miles, we'll you can do half. the one. <laughs> <laughs> Third. The one-mile loop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thirds. <laughs> you only have to go twice around the track. <laughs> right, there it is. I can, I can handle that. Yeah. All right. So um, we got the programs. You got 18 partners inside. Where can people go for more information um, on the web or social media? Sure, sure. So um, you can go to our website, ClaymontCenter.org. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on social as Claymont Community Center. You know, we're on Facebook and, and Instagram. 
Um, and really, I mean, people just sort of have a sense of, of this place as really being community-based. Yeah, so yeah, it's know, really yeah. great. They kind of know it, but they don't know everything. Right. I, get yeah. you. I totally understand that. And you've yeah. been supporting the community for in with all of these programs. How does the community or how do people, individuals, reciprocate that and support you? That's mm. a great question. Thank so you. I think... Um, one of our priorities over the next three years in our strategic plan is to really look at ways to engage the community more right. right we're not talking about programs that do something to people it's how do you engage people right. mm -hmm. in figuring out the programs that they want figuring mm -hmm. out the activities they want so we are you know being intentional about opening up that dialogue right. um, so that they have a real sense of um, being part of the community. In, in answer to your question, I think there are you know, plenty of ways where people are already doing that. Okay. Um, they're volunteering. So for our food closet, you know, we have a whole host of volunteers who go and pick up food mm -hmm. um, at area grocery stores that support us. Oh, and nice. they bring the food to us. They mm -hmm. help us unload. They help us you know, look at expiration dates and package and distribute. So it's a real community, you know, really community effort. And if I could stay on that for Please, a quick Please, because I was going to stay on that community. Yeah. I was going to stay on the closet. So we're really excited about our food closet. You know, it is one of the things that the community center has done almost since its beginning. Like okay. feeding people. Yeah. Right? Like that's a basic need, need right. that everybody should have. You shouldn't have to make choices. You shouldn't have to, you know, decide like your kids are going to eat, but you're not. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So we've had this, this uh, food closet. But we're really excited um, because of some federal funding and mm -hmm. from state funding through the Joint Finance Committee. We are relocating just a half a block down to okay. a small building that we own. Nice. Um, but it's going to be an expanded food closet. Oh, we'll be amazing. able to work with more families. A supermarket. <laughs> yeah. Some, and, and we try to use that choice model, right? right? That people can come in and choose. They're not just being okay. like, you have to eat this. Yeah. Right, you know? right. Because that doesn't really solve the problem. Right. Um, the other exciting thing about the food closet is that we're going to add a community garden love it and nice. love it this will be a real opportunity to engage the community in you know growing their own food and yeah. figuring out how they want to yeah. do that and my secret dream is to add some bees because we all know that honeybees are oh. really really important they're great pollinators so, yeah. and yeah. Um, they're really great. So we'll have to figure out where to put them. He's so scared that. of bees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <but> you had <laughs> me all said, the way to that, and I just saw it. You no, said no, bees. He's like, brother, like, wait oh. a second. All these great things. No, they'll, no, be, no, they'll be no, in no, another, I'm, they'll I'm, be in I'm, another I'm area. I'm not scared of bees. I, I love honey. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, God, right I here in the plaza. Place. So we definitely appreciate you stopping through. Yeah. Right? Uh, the community closet, real quick, before yeah, we, yeah, um, yeah, um, how can people, do, do they have to sign up, register? Um, because someone might be saying it's like, yo, I need to know more, like yeah, how to be a part of that. So you can, you know, again, go to our website, okay. claymontcenter.org. You can call our main number, 302-792-2757. Mm -hmm. um, just ask for the food closet. You can just come in. Do you take um, donations? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, just like monetary, do monetary donations for the food closet? We take monetary donations. We take in-kind donations of okay. food. Okay. Um, but particularly for someone who needs food, yeah. if you can't call and you're in the area, just come in just come and in. we'll help you because we have emergency food. I love that. Um, Please, that yes. I love you that. Know, is, is just available. Yeah, I love again, that. Because, again, no one should, no one should, so no one should be freaking yeah. hungry. My dad, so I, I got that from my dad, right? I got it from my daddy. Um, my daddy used to always say, like, like don't ask me for money, right? I'm not going to give you money. But if someone asks me for food, I'm, I'm going to feed you. And that's right. something that I remember as a kid that, like, now, if, if someone says, hey, look, I'm hungry, like, you shouldn't be hungry. Just right. You know what I mean? Yes. So, you know, yeah. And, and I think that food also is a lot of other things as well, right? Food is medicine, yeah. right? If mm. you're feeding your body mm. um, properly, you're going to feel better. Mm -hmm. I think food is bonding, right? Yeah. We all know break bread. Like when we break bread with yeah. each other. Yeah. And right. those are the things that build community. So, yeah. you know, somebody helping and somebody giving, like that's, mm -hmm. you know, One that's same. what it's about. That's what it's about. I agree. Yeah. Allison, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank all right, you. so this is your camera right here, Allison. Sure. Go ahead. You got, you got 20 seconds. 
I can do it. Let's, Let's go. go. Make Ready? sure you mention the address as well. I, I All right. will. Okay. Three, two, one. So join us on Saturday, September 30th at the Claymont Community Center, 3301 Green Street for our fifth annual C3 5K. The 5K supports our programs and our services for youth, families, and seniors. And we want to see you. She did it. Address. She did it. Oh, she forgot. I did it. Thirty. Yeah, thirty-three hundred one Green Street. <laughs> there it is. No, we want to make sure that they know exactly where you're at. You're yeah. amazing. I thought you were reading up the teleprompter. Right, she was going. I was like, but there is none over there. So thank you so much thank again you. for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No, anytime. anytime. I'm going to be back. Okay, I know again. you are. Yes. I'm fine with that. Yes. I'm cool. Look, let me tell you something. As long as it's helping the community, and that's one thing that we noticed there, that we realized at DETV is like we have a platform and we have thousands of followers right there watches. I'm like over like eighteen thousand followers. Or is that, well, I think we're close to like, like 30. Um, but they follow us. And with that is we want to make sure like nonprofits like yourself and people with capable superheroes like yourself then, and other people out here that's doing great things in the community that they can use this platform to do that. Correct. Right. Okay. Because Thank like you. you said, no one should be freaking hungry. Nope. No one. You know what I mean? And if we can elevate that and, 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 and get that word out, I'm fine with it. You know what I mean? <laughs>